What's up guys, Ruxin34 back here with another video, and today we're going to be opening a Dark Beginning 1 booster box. So this is the first time I've ever opened a Dark Beginning 1 booster box. I always want to call this Dark Beginnings, but there's obviously no S here, so I, but it's Dark Beginning, but I like to say Dark Beginnings, so if I say that, I probably will. Um, don't, don't kill me too much. So before we get started, let's get into the giveaway. The giveaway, it's a couple of beat up cards, but these are pretty epic. So we got a Pot of Avarice. From Elemental Energy, a little creased. We got a Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon Jump. See, it's a little, little messed up. And then we have an Ultimate Rare. As you can see, this dude's been heavily played. You know, he's he's seen his share of stuff. And an Ultimate Rare Horus Level Six. So really epic cards. Um, they have seen their fair share of play, and uh, they've been around the uh, been around the block a few times. But pretty awesome cards, especially to get for free. So I hope you guys like the video. And we're looking to hit 60 likes in this video because we have been absolutely dominating these like goals. So I'm slowly ramping up for these big boys like Dark Beginning 1 Booster Box. So um, we're not going to be scaling packs today. We're just going to crack it open. We're going to go straight into it because I want to get this entire set. I know it's a weird set to want because it's a reprint. But it's such a cool set. It's massive. 250 card set. So before we open this sucker... Let's just check out the booster box. Yugi Moto, fun fact, the only time he is on a booster box. As you can see, this is a pretty beat up booster box. So this, hopefully the packs are fine in there. Um, the weird thing about this set is there are no secret rares. So we're going to go ahead and crack this bad boy open. Um, somebody was saying, they were, they were talk, thinking about, um, one of, somebody in the comments was saying that they thought it was you know, similar. It's like as good as retro pack, basically. And like it's nostalgic and they could catch it in value. And all of a sudden, I agree, but the only problem is the secret rares. There's no secret rares. If they put secret rares in this set and they were like, you know, similar to the Blue Eyes Shining Dragon, something, it was the first print up, or I guess Blue Eyes Shining was not its first print, but um, they put something really cool in here that you could pull, then it would have done, it would be a lot more valuable right now because the set is super awesome. It just, it just needs that secret rare. I don't know why there are no secret rares. So let's go ahead and open this up. Um, I mentioned this in the mail date. These have 13 packs per box or per pack. I should say 13. What am I trying to say? 13 cards per pack. There we go. Um, so there's 24 packs still, but it's a lot thicker because there's extra four cards per pack. So we're just going to open all of these up. We're going to do our best and just enjoy this thing. So if you haven't seen that mail day, when I showed off the hollows I have, there's a bunch of hollows I still need from this set, but obviously I would like to pull a blue eyes. I still have my blue eyes from back in 2006 or whatever, so it would be pretty cool to pull a new one. So, okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and explain this before we get started. We got our rare in the front, and that does not mean that the that it's a fake pack or anything. The way that Dark Beginnings works, you get the pull, the rare, the super, the whatever, at the beginning of whatever type it is. So if it's a monster, you get... And the monsters always go first in this. So it's all monsters. Then it's all either spells or traps. I think spells and then traps. So if you pull a monster, it's going to be at the front of the pack. You pull a spell, it's going to be at the front of the spells. So let's just go ahead and uh, go through and I'll kind of show you guys what I mean. So we got the Fiend Mega Cyber as our first rare. We got a tip card. And it's in front of it. So that is pretty That is pretty weird. I don't remember if that's right or not, but that should be normal. We got a Penguin Knight. Dark King of the Abyss. Look at all these cards. That's an MRL reprint, LOB reprint. We got a Parasite, Parasite, former super rare from Pharaoh Servant. That's in here as a common. So, oh yeah, this is Pharaoh Servant. It is included. I forgot. We got DB1. That's a nice uh, DB1 Aquam Nord. That's a nice um, LOB reprint. We got an MRD Sanga. See, look how many cool cards. Mask of Weakness. Was this his first printing? Decrease the attack of one attacking monster by 700 until the end of the turn. I don't know if that's the first printing of that or not. That's amazing. Respect play. That's from Pharaoh's Servant. Light of Intervention. That's from Pharaoh's Servant. Oh, yeah. So it looks like the traps were second. So if we had pulled like a trap hollow, it would be at the front of the traps. So um, we, you'll see a lot of, um, especially like Rhyme Style, he'll open these up. And he gets confused every time. Every time he opens Re Revelation or Beginnings or Beginning, he he's like, why is the hollow right here? And it's just like, we, it's like. It's always like that. So it's a little weird because it's the only sets that it does that. So I understand why he gets confused and stuff. Jam Breeding Machine, The Cheerful Coffin, and Chain Energy. So just look at all these epic, epic cards. So we're going to hopefully be able to put... We get a nice nick on the top of our rare, so that's unfortunate. 
But then, the, yeah, the weird thing is they give you 13 cards. One of these is this tip card. These are included. So yeah, let's see what's on our tip card. Fairy Meteor Crush, etc. Many cards in the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game have the Fairy Meteor Crush effect. I didn't know they actually referred to it themselves as that back then. You can give any card the ability by equipping it with Fairy Meteor Crush card, but other cards have the ability built in, like Mad Sword Beast, the first ever Fairy Meteor Crush effect. When these monsters attack with a higher attack, <laughs> when these monsters attack with an attack that is higher than defense of your opponent's defense position monster, inflict the difference in battle damage. So really cool. I mean, these tip cards are basically like they're really kind of dumb because most of the time it's really obvious. But that one's at least like, you know, reasonable. I guess it's not super obvious. Sometimes they'll say like, if you do damage, they lose life points or something like that. It's like really weird. Okay, so look on this one. It wasn't in front of it, so I don't, I'm not really sure what was up with that being in front of that. That might be normal as well. How to play Toons, the Toon Monsters, like Toon Mermaid, Toon Summon Skull, Manga Ryu Ran, and Blue Eyes Toon Dragon can only be summoned if you have a Toon World on your side of the field. See, look at that. That's crazy. All right, so let's, I'm going to keep our tip cards. We got a Kiss a Tie, and I'll try and collect all those. All right, let's put my rares over here. Drill Bug, that's from Pharaoh's Servant. Mystical Elf as a common. Amazing. Headless Knight, I think that's from Pharaoh's Servant as well. Oh, there we go. There's our first piece of Exodia. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start sleeving these. There's two, As I mentioned, there's 250 cards in this set. So I'm we're not going to pull all five pieces of Exodia, especially since the Ultra Rare is, the head is Ultra Rare. So. Um, but I'm going to try and get as many as I can. I'm going to type zero Magic Crusher. Fairy Box. So it looks like we're going to get a um, Magic Card. Hey, wait, I guess it doesn't say Magic Card anymore. I guess it'll say Spell Card. DNA Surgery, that's a good card. Yeah, so Fisher was our spell card. We got a Final Destiny and Molten Destruction. So our spell um, rare was a Fisher DB1. So that's pretty awesome. So there's just a lot of things to collect out of the set. You got the tip cards, there's 50 of those. You got 250 cards, you got 35 hollow cards. It's crazy. So not a lot of high value cards in here, but some really cool stuff. So. Setting normal spell cards. You can set a normal spell card. Rituals <laughs> face down. And you're, yeah. See, that's the kind of stuff. It's like, okay. All right. Nimble Momonga. Here we go. There's our rare. See, that's kind of the bummer is it just starts off as a rare and you're like, well, there it is. All right. We got an armored lizard. LOB. We got a winged dragon guardian of the fortress. Yugi. Winged dragon guardian of the fortress. Hysteric fairy. Big eye. Minar, pretty cool. Chanted Javelin, this is gonna be a long video by the way, guys. Mirror Wall, so they got a lot of supers and they put them down to commons, which is actually kinda cool. Fake Trap, Card of Safe Return, Horn of the Unicorn, and Course of Sanctuary. There's always only like three magic cards. I'm not sure if that's on purpose. So, I guess I'm just gonna keep going down this side. We haven't gotten a hollow yet. Let's see if we can, uh, it's this bad boy. So I've already got a huge stack of commons because there are so many cards in these sets. Okay, this this one is struggling. There we go. Searching effects. We got a tip on that. Oh, red eyes! Yes, let's go! Super rare red eyes. This is the one I really wanted because I don't actually even have this card. Red eyes. And the cool part is it's a super rare. I kind of forgot that the hollow is going to be there. <laughs> it's a super rare... So we didn't use an ultra rare pull yet. I'm not even sure how many pulls we're gonna get. Like, there's 24 packs, so I assume it's gonna be six. I don't know if there's a possibility it's seven or not. That would be really epic. So we, the rest of the pack, we got Armored Zombies, Flame Manipulator, Grand Tiki Elder. Isn't that, wait, isn't that from LOD? Maybe this goes through, I thought this only went through MRL at first, but I was obviously wrong about that. Larva Moth, awesome. Cure Mermaid. Oh, here's a rare too. So you should get a rare and a hollow. That's pretty dope. Dust Tornado, that'll be good towards finishing my set because there's so many rares. Forced Requisition, Time Seal, Malevolent Nuzzler, Elegant Egotist, Ma Mask of the Accursed, Lumis and Umbra, Mask of the Accursed. I can't remember what, oh, I can't remember what they say exactly. Oh, they're, they're, they're great characters, I love them. Um, Flip Monsters, two for one. Ooh, Gaia the Dragon Champion. Rare. There's some epic rares. So this guy got demoted from a secret to a rare. Guess they realized how bad he actually was. 
That's pretty funny. So, we got a Masaki. Ooh, Humanoid Worm Drake. This is always super hard to get out of uh, LOD, so that's definitely in here. Wait, LOD? Or is it? No, LON, sorry. So this is through LON, I bet. Mystic Lamp, Portrait Secret, Giant Germ, Eye of Truth, Gravity Bind, good card. Oops. We've got a Shift, Red Medicine. We've got to recover that 500 life points. Reliable Guardian and Rising Air Current. So far, we've got a Red Eyes Black Dragon, which is... Um, I may, I might actually have the uh, prices popping up on the screen. I haven't done that before. I have had some requests to do that. It does take a little longer when I edit, and I really don't have too much time to edit. But if I have the time, I'll, I'll try and get those prices to pop up. I'm, if I can figure out a way to make it look nice, because I don't really have a great editing program right now. I'm just using iMovie on my Mac, and it's not too good. Because my computer's not that great, so I don't really want to buy a good editing program on it. All right, here we go. We got a Magician of Faith. Just, the tip card is just called Magician of Faith. That's pretty funny. All right, so we didn't get a Monster Rare this time. The Gross Ghost of Fled Jeans. Ooh, Sui Jin. I'm trying to get that whole set, so we've gotten two of them. Oh, look, Slot Machine. I wonder if his little brother's in here. Oh, Labyrinth Wall's right next to it, just like Magic Roll. That's weird. Curse of Dragon. Curse of Dragon. Silver Fang. Oh, Upside Down. Okay, so it looks like we're getting a spell. Minor Goblin Official. Oh, Upside Down again. Attack and Receive. Gift of the Mystical Elf. We got a forceful century rare. So this guy got demoted from ultra rare to a rare. It's cra there's some crazy uh, rarity changes in here. And then some of them just stay the same. Lightning Blade and Mystic Plasma Zone. So pretty cool. Let me know if you guys enjoy this full box opening because it's not going to happen too often. I'm just going to let you know. But I do enjoy doing it. Oh, look. Magician of Faith again. <laughs> Toon Summon Skull. Super. Super, oh, not super. <laughs> rare, I should say. <laughs> I'm just not used to all these cards being rare. It's like they're epic and they're just rares. Just the coolest part about this is like every single card's old school, like nostalgic. Hain Hain. Gradius. Kazijin. I think that's, uh, I think we've got the whole set now. Red Archery Girl. Swordsman of Landstar. No, Swordsman of Landstar. Mask of Restrict. Gem Defender. Ooh, classic. You don't have to make, do a voice because that's a. Uh, strings and he doesn't talk so unless Merrick's um, talking for him. Light Force Sword, Reign of Mercy, and Chosen One, Return of the Doomed. Yeah, de this definitely goes through LON. Slifer the Sky Dragon. Oh, a mat okay. That would have okay, that's what they should have done. Dark Beginnings should have had the three god cards as secret rares. Would that not have been the most epic thing of all time? Because at this point, they had only printed the god cards in GBI. So you just have a regular old secret version. This could have, uh, this could have been the playable version. They probably weren't ready to do that at that point, but you could have that. God card secret rares. That would have been insane. Oh my, that would have been so cool. All right, we got to pick a theme tip card. Red Moon Baby, one of the creepiest cards out there. Saki, the legendary swordsman. Humanoid Worm Drake. Drake, Mystic Lamp, The Portrait Secret, Giant Germ, Spellbinding Circle, as Yugi would say. Spellbinding, baby. Awesome card. Chain Destruction. Who remembers what you what Yugi used this on? Let me know in the comments. What did Yuzi, Yugi use Chain Destruction on to win a duel? Basically to win a duel. Skull Invitation, Shallow Grave, Messenger of Peace, and Insect Barrier. I'll see if you guys watch the anime or if you guys are just, you know, fake Yu-Gi-Oh fans. Because if you don't know that, you're not a real Yu-Gi-Oh fan. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Alright, we're not even halfway done. This is uh, slow, but I mean, with full box opening, we're taking our time, you know. You guys can split this up into two parts if you want. You know, you can pause it, come back later or whatever. Alright, tip card. Fire Princess deck, crazy. Gaia the Fierce Knight. So we got a Gaia the Dragon Champion and a Gaia the Fierce Knight. Gotta love Gaia, even though he's trash, but he's awesome. Look at him, he got knocked down from Ultra, but he's still a rare though, so he's, he has some semblance of uh, you know, respect. All right, Toon Mermaid, Jinzo number seven. Too bad Jinzo's not in here. Griggle, oh, well, Jinzo is in here. He, of course he is, he's an Ultra. Shining Abyss. Oh, right arm. Nice. Okay. 
There's our second Exodia piece. It's one we, okay, we're not repeating. So right now we actually do want Exodia pieces. This is not like the LOB Korean boxes where we don't want Exodia pieces. Shadow of Eyes, Fairy's Hand Mirror, Tornado Wall, Eternal Rest, Upstart Goblin, nice, and Yumi. So I think the best box I could get would be, since we already got the Red Eyes, I would want the um, Red Eyes, Dark Magician. No, 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 not Red Eyes, not Dark Magician. Red Eyes, Blue Eyes, Exodia Head, and then all the pieces of Exodia. And then a Relinquished Super as well as the Red Eyes. That would be insane. And then maybe like a, uh, whatever his name is, Makiyora the Destructor or whatever he's called. That would be epic. Also Dark Sages in here, so that would be epic too. Okay. Here we go. We got an Equip Spell Card, just in case you don't know how to use those. Milked the Four-Faced Beast. Amazon Archer. Ceremonial Bell. Bombardment Beetle, Amphibian Beast, UFO Turtle, the UFOs, Solemn Wishes, Backup Soldier, Infinite Dismissal, uh oh, we're coming up, Tribute to the Doomed from Metal Raider, so this super did not get knocked down to a common, it stayed a rare, which is kind of odd, I guess it was pretty decent back then, but now it kind of is not good, Hinotama, and a Ground Collab. So we got one pack left on this half. We're at 16 minutes in this video. This might be a 30 minute video. But I mean, I posted that 50 minute video a while back and, su and a surprising amount of you guys wa actually watched the whole thing. So 30 minutes of old school, I think you guys can handle it. All right, side deck basics. Giant rat. Let's just go ahead and uh, sleeve our rare up, giant rat. All right, now we're hoping to pull that Exodia piece out of these commons. All right, blast juggler. Sword Hunter. Skill Servant, our first one of those. Hitatsumi Giant. Harpy's Brother. Numinous Healer. Dragon Capture Jar. Grave Robber. I probably need most of these cards anyway. Master Brutality. Stop Defense. And Yumi Ruka. It is pretty weird that they only have three spells every time. I guess they're, I don't know if there were less or what. Oh, never mind. That wasn't the last pack. That was only the 11th pack on that side. Here we go. Next. Oh man, destroying this pack. These packs open kind of oddly. Old 2004, by the way. Yeah, this set came out in 2004. The first reprint set in Yu-Gi-Oh. Pretty awesome. All right, Effect Monster Equip Spell Card. Harpy Lady Sisters. Celtic Guardian. We've still only pulled one Hollow. That's pretty odd. Shining Angel. Nuvia the Wicked. Sonic Bird. Banisher of the Light. I didn't even notice that because I'm like loving these cards so much. Dragon Captured Art. Grave Robber. Imperial Order. Oh, what a terrible ultra rare. Oh my goodness. That was not what we wanted. An Imperial Order. That's probably like one of the worst ones to be honest. Polymerization, Confiscation, Rust Recklessly. There are 15 ultras. That might be the worst one. <laughs> we did get a red eyes though, so that's pretty sweet. Imperial Order. The good thing about the Imperial Order is it's not the same rarity. Because that is kind of annoying when they have the same rarity. Like if it was a secret rare, even though they're obviously not secret rares in here, but. Alright. Effect Monster, equip spell card. Oh, Dark Sage, our other ultra rare. That's actually a sweet one. Um, assuming we only get two. I don't I'm not sure. I'm not 100 percent sure. There's a little bit of a like thing right there, but this looks really nice. It's way off-centered, unfortunately. So we got a Dark Sage. I do already have that, but probably not that minty. So that's pretty cool. So we got a, that is, um, it's not unique to this box, but it's, this is the only set it comes in. I believe the other, the other place you can get it is a game promo. So this is the only time you can pull it. So that's pretty cool. Cure Mermaid. We got a Kisatai. Drill Bug. So we got back-to-back -back Ultras. That was odd. Mystical Elf. Headless Knight. Mirror Wall. Fake Trap. Type Zero Magic Crusher. Insect Barrier, Reign of Mercy, and Chosen One. So yeah, we went. We had no hollows, then we pulled back-to-back -back Ultra Rare. So maybe we'll get lucky and pull a third Ultra Rare. That would be absolutely epic. Maybe it'll be a Blue Eyes. All right, how to play tunes again. We got a Mahavilo, Mask of Darkness, Deep Sea Warrior. Just look at all these old school cards, man. Cocoon of Evolution, Spirit of the Breeze, Feral Imp, Forced Requisition, Time Seal, Chain of Javelin, Limiter Removal, The Shallow Grave, and Messenger of Peace. 
We had a limiter removal. This dude used to be a super. Now he's a rare. Which is not too bad. Alright, let's see if we can... Uh, I've got a lot of packs. Pack wrappers? Uh-oh. Computer's getting sleepy over here. Wake up! Get some more stuff to open. Alright, there we go. Alright, we're 20 minutes in, so... Slowly, slowly finishing this out. I'm about to run out of sleeves. Let me grab some more. Alright, there we go. Okay. Let's keep chugging this Dark Beginnings Booster Box. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. Make sure you guys hit the like button. Leave me a comment. Subscribe for more videos. Because obviously we like putting out videos around here. Old School Packs. Dark Beginnings 1. Brings me back to the old days when I had a lot of Dark Beginnings. Alright. Setting Normal Spell Cards. Magician of Faith. Nice rare. First time we've gotten that one. I don't definitely don't want to pull any dupe rares. That would not be good. Silver Fang, Armored Zombie, Flame Manipulator, Grand Tiki Elder, Larva Moth, The Eye of Truth, Gravity Bind, Shift, Eternal Rest. Oh, nice upstart. And an Umi. They pulled two um, upstarts. It would really be nice to pull uh, those two legs of Exodia. Looks like we're not going to get the Exodia head. I do own one though, so it's okay. I already have both of the Ultra Rares, too, so that, that kind of stinks. I, I'm trying to think of which ones I don't have. I'm not exactly sure. Okay, here we go. Tip card. Searching effects. Ooh, Summon Skull. Ooh, I kind of forgot about this. That would have been one I would say I wanted because I did have this one back in the day. Really, really cool. Centered, too. A mm, little bit of back waxing, but this is a really nice card. Really good condition. Ooh, Summon Skull. So, like, oh my goodness. Just the old school awesomeness here. Summon Skull and Red Eyes right there. They're the supers, but they're, like, epic. We've got Dark Sage up there, the old wizard. All right, let's finish this pack. We've got a Worm Drake. Thousand Eyes Idol. Karate Man. Manga Ryuran. Flying Kamikiri number one. Jar of Greed. Rare. Gift of the Mystical Elf, Minor Goblin Official, Ground Collapse, Monster Recovery, and Soul Release. Okay, that's pretty epic right there. Pretty epic, Summon Skull. Okay, now, I, I, I literally have like two of those and I forgot about it. Because I guess because it's a super, I wasn't thinking about it. I knew there was another epic super, I just couldn't remember what it was. Backup Soldier, Gear Free the Iron Knight. Gear Free the Iron Knight. Alright, here we go. Gross Ghost of Fled Dreams. Suijin, he's gross. Slot Machine, Labyrinth Wall. They're next to each other in this pack every time, too. Oh, look, a Call of the Haunted. It has Foil Shift. Curse of Dragon, too. Look at that. It has Foil Shift at the top. That's pretty epic. Dark Beginnings, Call of the Haunted with Foil Shift. Super rare. Epic. Okay, that's epic. So our, our super rares are just incredible. Our, our ultra rares are not bad. They're just, uh, we got one bad one. We got one awesome one, and we got one that's not so great. But wow, that's a really cool pull with the uh, foil shift. Let's just try and keep those there. Epic pull. Oh, I didn't finish the pack, did I? All right, gamble. This is a gamble opening this box. Attack and receive. Stop defense. Yumi Ruka. Actually, this is not a gamble. This is just a straight loss. <laughs> This is literally for fun, so I hope you guys are enjoying it, because there is not anything valuable, like, monetarily in this set. Alright, special summon only, monsters. The Forgiving Maiden. The Earl of Demise. Cool card. Mammoth Graveyard. Can destroy that Blue Eyes Ultimate I'm giving away. Dancing Fairy. Amoeba. Ameba. Actually, I always thought this was Amoeba, but that says Ameba. Interesting. Bubonic Vermin. Mask of Restrict. Jam Defender, Lightning Vortex, Black Pendant Super, or not Super, I, Black Pendant's always a Super, so I just went to it, Black Pendant Rare, Rush Recklessly, and Mask of Brutality. Yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! Old School said that Labyrinth of Nightmare is, you have, you have to have a Mask Fetish to like it, so that's just, that's disrespectful in my opinion. That's just what that made me think of, because that set is lit, so just go ahead and yeah, give him some crap for that, because that is ridiculous. <laughs> Alright, pick a theme. Oh, pick a theme. What is this? 
When building a deck, it's important you remember your theme. Oh, your theme. Got it, got it, got it. Ooh, man eater. So I I wonder, can you pull a rare as the first card and then get a hollow later? Like, because you always get a rare. Or is the rare always after the hollow? No, that wouldn't make sense if you pull a magic card. Ceremonial Bell, Bombardment Beetle. So I guess we can still get a hollow in this pack. Amphibian Beast, UFO Turtle, Red Moon Baby, Jam Defender, Light Force Sword, Gamble, Burning Land, Toon World, Common, and a Horn of Light. Wow. Toon World in here is a common. There's all kinds of crazy stuff in here. All right, we're getting low. We're down to the last few packs. Hope you guys have enjoyed this Dark Beginnings 1. Beginning 1. Oh my goodness, can't say it right. Dark Beginning 1 opening. So, Gravity Bind. That's the first thing. We had a Yurabi, Yurabi, your baby, whatever you want to call it. Oh, right leg. Let's go. Right leg of the Forbidden One. So, we just need that left leg. This is actually really lucky to get three. Maybe we'll get that left, or that, uh, yeah, that left leg. Got a four-star Ladybug of Doom. A Reaper of the Cards. Sinji, that's a good card. Invader of the Thrones down to a common. Magical Huts! Epic, 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 epic. Super epic. All right. Shadow of Eyes. Fairy's Hand Mirror. Toll. Scroll of Bewitchment. And Gaia Power. Gaia's Power. All right, there we go. All right, so we're at five hollows. So I would think we get, you know, I would think we get one more, right? Probably another super. Probably not another ultra, but that would be extremely epic. All right, Fire Princess deck again. Mystic Tomato. Oh crap! There goes our guy power. Let's get it. Get in on the action. All right, let, let's get that left leg of the Forbidden One. Come on, give us your power here, people. Give us the energy. Help us out. Nuvia the Wicked, Sonic Bird, Banisher of the Light, Melkid the Four-Faced Beast, Amazon Archer, Solemn Witches. Backup Soldier. Got a PSA 10 of that now. And an Infinite Dismissal, and I kind of blew that. But look, this has a little bit of Foil Shift as well. It's not as much. It's very slight. You can't really see it. That's pretty cool. Premature Burial is actually a really good card. So nice pull for our fourth Super Rare. Got a Luminous Spark and Infinite Cards. I was staring at the card before it, and I just realized I was just holding it out there. I was like, whoops. All right. Any more foils? Are we just pulling rares here? I mean, I do need the rares, so not a big deal either way. But foils are definitely preferred. So come on, let's do this. All right, so we got equip spell cards. Marie, the Fallen One. Electric Snake. P Petite Moth. Humanoid Slime. You go with this Humanoid Worm Drake. Hero Shadow Scout. Kojikasi. U Numinous Healer, Dragon Capture Jar, Grave Robber, Giant True Nade, Rare. Graded that one in a PSA 10 as well. Got a Noble Moon Extermination and T Taylor of the Fickle. So we got two more packs. Can we pull one more foil, guys? Make it seven foils out of this box. That would be crazy. Well, it looks like the first card here is in front of the tip card again. So I guess that's just like a weird error that happens. We've got a Morphing Jar number two. Pretty cool. Not a regular Morphing Jar, unfortunately. <laughs> Nimble Momonga. Oh, left arm. Dang it. Another piece, but not the one we're looking for. But still, an extra piece. Can't complain about that. All right. Armed Ninja. Harpy Lady Sisters. Celtic Guardian. Shining Angel. Mask of Weakness. Respect Play. Light of Intervention. Mask of Dispel. Mask of Dispel, Dimension Hole, Dimension Hole, Eric, will, Eric loves Dimension Hole, so I hope he sees that. <laughs> Curse of the Mass Beast. So I guess the Mass Beast is in here too. I think he's a super. I think he's a super in Retro Pack. Retro Pack 2 maybe? Can't remember. Alright, final pack. Can we have some luck and pull another Hollow? That would be crazy. Hope you guys have enjoyed this Dark Beginning 1 opening. There we go, I said it right. Yeah, really epic set, really fun. Um, if I find another one of these, I might open another one for the full set. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can get notified when I upload more videos, which has been a lot recently. And yeah, let's get into the last pack. Side Deck Basics. Oh, the legendary Beaver Warrior. Revival Jam. Mass Sorcerer. St. Joan. Earthbound Spirit. Harpy Lady. Magic Drain. So, I guess we have hope of it being a spell hollow? Maybe? I don't know. We'll see. 
Fairy Box, DNA Surgery, and Return of the Doomed, Gravekeeper Servant, and Painful Choice. Comment, that's pretty cool. So we didn't get a hollow there, but we did pull some pretty epic stuff. So let's go through these real quick. All right, let's, let's go through the rares too, because there's some epic stuff. Magic Drain, Morphin Jar number two, Giant Trunade, Mystic Tomato, Magical Hats, Man Eater Bug, Black Pendant, Gear Free the Iron Knight, Jar of Greed, we got an Upstart Goblin, Magician of Faith, Limited Removal, Giant Rat, Tribute to the Doom, another Upstart Goblin, Gaia the Fierce Knight, Spellbinding Circle, Toon Summon Skull, The Forceful Sentry, Gaia the Dragon Champion, a little bit of name shifted up, Dust Tornado, Nimble Momonga, Fissure, The Fiend Mega Cyber, Right Leg of the Forbidden One, Left Arm of the Forbidden One, Right Arm of the Forbidden One, Left Arm of the Forbidden One. We got a foil shifted called the Haunted, Super Rare Epic. Summon Skull, he's a little shifted too, so I guess all the supers in here were. Premature Burial, Red Eyes Black Dragon, probably my favorite pull. Imperial Order, eh, it sucks, but that's okay. And then we got an epic Dark Sage Ultra Rare. So, hope you guys really enjoyed that video. It was pretty long. We had a lot of awesome pulls in here. So yeah, make sure you guys subscribe, hit the notification bell for more old school Yu-Gi-Oh! Because you know that's how we roll. We might do a little bit of new stuff, but we're searching for some epic card like a Prismatic. But around here, we're mostly that old school, like collecting stuff, opening old school boxes. So make sure you subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh, yeah.